Protoon's gone. They took away Protoon from the GoPro app? Officially? Yep, officially. And according to GoPro, it's not you, it's us. Wait, did they just break up with me? Welcome to Pavement.media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to at least temporarily ditch the official GoPro app, get those ProTune settings back, and how to even control multiple GoPros at the same time using the camera tools for GoPro Hero app. Carl Larson here, and welcome to another episode. ProTune settings are key to getting the best images possible out of a GoPro. They control white balance, ISO, exposure offset, and all the stuff professionals depend on to get their best images. And they're mission critical when the camera is rigged in a hard to reach place, like on a stage, or on an airplane wing, or on an FPV drone. And GoPro just decided to take that feature away? That's craziness. Each week I use one to two GoPros to supplement my church's live stream, which I've created the whole video on right here. And a big reason why they work well in live production is because I can match my white balance, exposure, shutter speed of the GoPros all to the rest of the cameras in my production. If I can't do that, can't use them. And this doesn't just impact me, it impacts every pro skier, kayaker, blogger, FPV pilot, anyone who wants to have more control than the auto settings on the camera. This is a really big deal. So how do we get these settings back? Well, after weeks of frustration, I found the best alternative to the GoPro app is from a small developer in Austria called Technique. The founder, Harold Meyer, responded to me within a few hours of sending a request for more information about his app. And so far, so good. So for $9, Harold's app solved my problem of needing to get ProTune settings back on my phone. And although I haven't tested it on every scenario and every platform, let me show you how it works on the phone because that's what most of us care about. So assuming you've been using your GoPro already using wireless connections through the GoPro app, your wireless settings should be all set. Now for this to work, your camera must have the latest firmware, which is pretty easily updated through the official GoPro app. So if you haven't done that, do that first. Next. Plunk down $9 and download the camera tools for GoPro Hero app. Launch the camera tools app, turn on your GoPro and press the plus button. A list of Wi-Fi devices in your proximity, most of which don't make any sense will populate the list. Choose the one that says GoPro and tap it. This will bring you back to the main interface of the app where you'll need to tap on the camera icon to launch its controls and press connect. From there, you can dive into the settings, scroll down and see your glorious return of your beloved ProTune settings. Back in the main control interface, press Live Preview, and you can check the framing, exposure, and white balance of your shot. And if you like what you see, you can start recording straight from there. I wish I could see the video preview changing while I'm toggling settings, but that's something I'm willing to live with temporarily. GoPro, you listening? The important thing is I got the ProTune settings back. Now, here's where things get interesting. Tap Options, and check Auto Connect on Start. The next time you launch the app, your camera will already automatically appear without any further clicks or prompts. I don't think the official GoPro app does that either. Now, while in the Options tab, scroll down, and we can change the name to something more reasonable, like GoPro 9. Close. Say I want to control two cameras, like I do every Sunday, but I want to control them simultaneously. I'll go through the same process as before to add another camera, this time my Hero 8, and press Connect. Generally, I want all my camera settings to match, and here's where Camera Tools really shines. Back on the main menu, press Control All Cameras. Scroll down to Settings, choose your master camera, I'll choose the Hero 8 for now, and now I can change frame rate, field of view, exposure, and white balance, all at the same time across both cameras. I close that. Now what would happen if I chose the Hero 9 as the master? Everything works just the same, but if I choose a setting that's exclusive to the 9, the relationship gets broken until I choose a setting that exists on both cameras. So, for example, both cameras can shoot in 4K 60. If I choose 24, they both change. If I up the resolution to 5K, only the Hero 9 changes because it's the only camera capable of recording 5K. If I change the frame rate again to 30, they're, since they're both capable of that, they both change their frame rate to 30. As soon as I change the resolution back down to 4K, 
both cameras sync all their settings once again. That's pretty great. It's a shame and a bit of a mystery of why GoPro removed their best features from their latest app update. Let's hope this is a short bump in the road and we'll all have our official functionality back shortly. But until then, I'll be using the camera tools for GoPro Hero app to keep my productions moving forward. If you're searching for content on how to improve your video production, I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter at pavement.media. Over the next several months, I'll be releasing more videos like this and launching my first full-length course on the fundamentals of live video production. I can't wait to see you in the next one.